Well guys, today we're gonna do my first ever vlog. We're going to check out some Nike Owl. It's kind of a day in the lifestyle as well as hanging out with another Amazon seller, which we'll see some content up later in the video. So gonna go ahead and source, hit some Nike Owls, maybe some Marshalls as well, find some profit, and then hang out with some Amazon sellers as well. So stick, stay tuned for the whole video and we'll see what's up. So I made sure to take advantage of the free UPS pickups. If you guys wanna know how to get free UPS pickups and merch sale packages, I have a video on that on the channel as well. I just got to the first Nike outlet, gonna check it out. Let's go through the sourcing checklist. Uh, so the, got the water here, wallet, yup, shades, bang, peanut butter and jelly. I'm gonna eat that later. But yes, yeah, so we're gonna check out um, Nike outlet. So probably not gonna have too much footage within it because we only have the iPhone and we scan products on the iPhone. But basically, if I depending on how much footage I get in there. The workflow basically looks like got uh, Scoutify 2 open, go through, scan the different barcodes on the products, and then see what makes sense based on the buy cost, what I can sell it for on Amazon. Might check some stuff on StockX and Goat as well, but I'm mainly focusing on Amazon for today. So we're gonna go check that out and see you in the next clip right now. Target acquired. Finished up at the outlet quick here. Got about 15 pairs. Took about uh, 20 minutes or so, 13 pairs to be exact. And average that 20 profit a pair. About, I'll break down the numbers of the full numbers in the end of the video, but about 250 bucks profit to start out at the $20 profit average per pair. I think it's a little higher than that, but break down the exact numbers later. It's fun, obviously, can't get any footage inside the outlet, but yeah, we'll head to ASICs now. A lot of people sleep on the ASICs outlet, but we'll see. I'll probably find some good stuff. I'm gonna check it out quick, um, but we'll see. A lot a lot of Amazon sellers sleep on the ASICs outlet, but let's just try checking it out sometime. We'll see what we find there. To spend too much time in each drawer, I kind of know what I'm looking for going in at least to ASICs. This is one I've been selling a lot of lately, so hopefully we can find some of those. We'll see. So it is Prime Day, like I mentioned earlier in the video, so sales should be a little higher. It's about 1 p.m. right now, and we just passed 1,000 in revenue for the day, about 20, 1,200 in revenue. So I'll make keep you guys up there as we go on that. That's about 20% profit margin. We scored big, let's go. All right, so we got exactly what we wanted at A6. I uh, kind of sucked there was a five pro limit. I didn't know they had that at A6, but I got four pairs of exactly what I wanted. I sold actually a few the last week. Buy cost is 51, selling them between 90 and 105 per. So it's going to be some more nice profit, only four pairs, um, but still still good stuff, definitely. So make sure you guys are checking out Asics outlets as well. Um, some people like Adidas outlets. Adidas is just on like every Amazon, like, Am or sorry, Amazon is on, it seems like most of the Adidas listings. So I tend to stay away from Adidas, but Nike and Asics definitely are very good. I'm going to try to find some Asics online as well, start doing some OA for them as well. But that's good stuff, definitely. Yeah, another uh, about 80, 75. $85 profit. We're going to go through all the numbers at the end of the video. We're about to take the drive to the next Nike outlet. Going to plug some Gary V audio experience in and have a good time. We'll see that it's about 40, 45, 40 minutes an hour to the next outlet. So we'll see you then. All right, here at the second Nike outlet, we see the big swoosh right there. Excited to get into this. This outlet holds a special place in my heart because about two years ago, two and a half years ago, it was when I was first getting started, like really trying to scale, making thousands in profit a month kind of figuring stuff out both in my life businesses when I started in social media stuff. This was the outlet I will always come to because it's is fairly close to where I went to college, like 45 minutes an hour away. So always love coming here. Haven't actually been here in a while. So I'm excited to check it out, find some stuff. Those were the go and stock X days. If you're watching that, you're an OG, shout out to you. But yeah, we're gonna check this out and see if we can find any stuff for Amazon and I'll let you know how it goes. Finished up at the second Nike. That was a very productive stop. Uh, as you guys can see, uh, 19 pairs of that stop. Pretty good. I'm gonna add up everything at the end of that, uh, at the end of uh, the video here. But I spent, I think it was 775 bucks, 19 pairs. Can't do that math in my head, but good numbers here. Very excited about that. Um, for those of you who don't know, Nike limits you to five uh, quantity of an individual style, which is so annoying and just incentivizes online arbitrage even more. But nice to find some stuff here at the outlets, and it's especially good. All right, I'm gonna go see if at this outlet, um, there's an Adidas, or uh, sorry, an Asics outlet I can check out as well. So if there is one, we'll be in that in the next clip. If not, I'll see you guys in the next clip. Either way. All right, they do have one. So we're gonna check that out. Scored big, got exactly what we wanted with the buy one, get one 50% off. These came out to 51 bucks a piece. Gonna sell them all around 90 or 100. End up profiting 20 to 30 bucks each and every pair. Good stuff. Ever vlog on the Flipping Miles channel. 
our total for 40 pairs, I believe about $20 in profit a pair after all is said and done, all fees, all shipping, supplies, all that. So 20 bucks a pair about brings our total to 800 in profit for that around three hours of work. And then prepping that, that's all already on the way to Amazon, film this a little bit later. Um, so that took around an hour or two to get that done so 800 in profit for i guess total around five hours of work not bad and that's expected profit obviously waiting for all that to sell through but yeah thank you guys for spending a little bit of your day with me you can do a lot more of those in the future it's kind of cool to see maybe we've got like some gopro action or something like that hopefully get some film within the store but yeah it's a lot of fun appreciate you guys spending some time with me let me know what you guys want to see make sure to subscribe below post in every single day of july and i will see you guys in the next one